Hello guys, Rodney Walker here of Grant Central USA. And today I'm excited to have a rock star who's doing some incredible things in the grant writing arena. None other than Miss Camille Ricks. Welcome Camille. Hello Rodney, thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm, I'm so excited to have you here and I'm excited about what's going on with you. I've been hearing some incredible things and I'm excited for our listeners to be able to get a chance to hear some of your stories. So tell me this, Camille, where are you located? I am located in New York City. Awesome. And you've been doing grant writing now for a little while. You've just recently finished our Rise and Star program and are one of our stellar students just doing some incredible things. Tell us this, as we give her to kind of learn about your journey, Tell us, when did the interest for grant writing first develop for you? How long ago? And then what inspired you to want to do grant writing? Yeah. Um, formally, my interest in grant writing developed about two years ago when I started taking a serious look at learning the grant writing process in depth, doing research, finding all of the resources that I could on grant writing, which is how I eventually came across you and your co course. But even prior to that, when I look back at my history, I realized, wow, I've kind of been in this grant writing fundraising um, nonprofit arena for quite some time without really even realizing it, you know, applying for scholarships back in college and getting tons of college scholarships, um, being part of different nonprofits during school and you know, um, on a volunteer basis um, over the years and helping, you know, those nonprofits with their grants and being on their teams and things like that. And then suddenly I find myself circling back to it. And I'm uh -huh. like, wow, it kind of like all is coming together for me. So I'm really um, enjoying this journey of grant writing and learning something new every day about the process. That is awesome. So you have a history that goes all the way back to when you were doing this, getting scholarships. And a lot of times people don't think that scholarships are actually grants, but truth be told, they are grants that just happen to be education grants. So exactly, tell, us, yeah. tell us about some of that money that you raised way back then. Yeah, like um, way, way back then. I remember, you know, being, being in high school and applying to all of these college scholarships and things like that and you know receiving a lot of um, money to go to go to school where the out of pocket expense that I paid for my education was a lot lower than the sticker price of the school that I went to. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. How much would you say in the course of that time you were able to raise for your with your scholarships? With my scholarships, um, I I ended up only paying about um, 25% of the value. So, so I, I pretty much had like 75% of my education paid for. Wow. So over, so over like, you know, $120,000, $200,000 value of, of what. Wow. Paid that is a lot. That's amazing. That's amazing. I know some of our listeners' ears have been perked up as a result of, <laughs> as a result of hearing that along. Yeah. That's great. And then you said you started doing some with other nonprofits just on a, at a volunteer level at, at the beginning? Yeah, so when I was in school, I was um, part of different organizations and served on like different boards and stuff like that. So I was the philanthropy chair of my sorority. I was the fundraising uh, committee president of my MBA class. Um, I was the community service membership chair of a nonprofit um, that dealt with food scarcity in the community. Um, those are just a couple of examples. Um, awesome. Host masters, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And then everything start coming together. And then yeah. our world's connected when you wanted to take it to another level and mm -hmm. do, do grant writing. And that's yeah. what, what, what was the big thing for you that made you say, hey, you know what? It's time for me to take this to the next level. What was that for you? Um, for me, taking the grant writing to the next level that was when I realized that I wanted to take my natural research and writing abilities and formalize it and really have a concrete structure to not just um, write a grant proposal, 
but to also know the tactics and those insider tips that you teach in terms of really connecting with the funders and really setting yourself apart from you know other organizations that are applying for the same grants that's you awesome know, making it more into a, a specialty yeah that's great and our paths connected back i, I looked right before we got a chance to connect today i looked back mm -hmm. and saw that we started somewhere around april and it's amazing to me <laughs> now here we are you started back in april of 2020 and here we are now fast forwarding to around january mm -hmm. uh, pretty close to that same time 2021 and just in that relatively short eight to nine month time frame mm -hmm. you you have just zoom i mean like zoom you've zoomed from going through that rising star program to now doing your very own business tell us about tell us about the journey <laughs> tell us about the journey first and then i want to dive in to find out what you're doing with your business as well yeah um the journey the journey has been great the journey has been and, and it's it's interesting that what's really started out as just a thought and just an idea um that you know i had in my head and that you know i had support with and everything i just you know just like just like you know a thought of okay create this business writing grants using my writing skills in grant writing in other areas as well and then all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm taking your course. Next thing I know, I'm putting together a proposal. Next thing I know, I'm, you know, talking and consulting with clients. And, <laughs> you know, and then one thing just, you know, led to another. And, you know, in a couple of days, I'm I'm actually doing my own training of grant writing and, you know, kind of like, you know, the student becomes the teacher now, right? So it's yeah. like, I, spent the past two years learning from you and various sources. And now I have this database of knowledge that I can share with others. And I'm, I'm just really excited and blessed and uh, passionate to be able to, to do that and to take something that I so profoundly have a deep meaning and connection with and just share that with, with others and you know, and let people know that there's money out there for the organizations, there's grants out there. And, you know, the projects that they have need and deserve to be funded, because, you know, that's, to me, it's all about inspiring greatness, and really um, doing what I can, not just for myself, but for others. And yeah, it's, I, I just love it a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. Give me a high five around it. Way to go, young lady. I'm so proud of you. I mean, like, so you you take this one thought, hey, maybe I should take this skill, do this grant writing thing, yeah. and then translated that thought into some concrete actions and then learn the skill very quickly. And now here you are teaching others from your experience as well. Now, I saw something where there were like 15 students that had already signed up to attend your training. And is this gonna be like virtual? It's gonna be at a location? Tell us more about that. Yeah, so so that number has increased slightly. Now there's 42 people oh signed up. Oh my on. God, I saw, I saw 15, then I saw like 21. And now you're telling me it's all the way up to 40 some odd people are gonna be attending yeah, your 40, training? 40 something people signed up. It's, um, you know, happening, you know, just in a couple of days, you know, on the 21st of this month. Um, and, if, and if anyone's watching this after that, you know, th there might be a replay or recording available. But um, yeah, they can find out more about that. It's, you know, up on Eventbrite. And my business name is Rick's Creative Agency. Uh -huh. So you can definitely um, search for me on there and reach out. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. And, you know, before we actually got a chance to connect today i saw some of the things on your site and saw that it was it was flourishing and i saw you i saw you in a couple of places and i was like man this is really cool just get a chance to see you grow and it's almost like i feel like a, a prop a prop papa around here because i saw you <laughs> when you you didn't know anything about this or you had some experience previous in the scholarship arena but now carrying that over to grant writing and then launching in with that that is absolutely awesome yeah. so proud of now That's tell me this, what was, what was initially the scariest part of the journey for you? 
And then what did you do to overcome that fear to get to where you're at right now? I know somebody yeah. wants to know that. Um, so the scariest part for me was, so was in the kind of that, um, what do they call it? Im imposter syndrome um, complex uh -huh. of like, well, you know, I've, even though like I had like all this experience with like, you know, the scholarships and, you know, doing different grant um, related things, you know, I, I kind of was new at the whole, um, you know, putting together a proposal and declaring and showing the value of what I bring to the table as a grant writer and nonprofit consultant and, you know, kind of starting new in that process and kind of like those thoughts of like, am I good enough? You know, sort of, sort of thing. Those, that, that's what I had to over, overcome. And but what it, did you do to, to overcome that challenge? How did you, how did you overcome it? Um, over, overcoming, overcoming that challenge is something that I feel that is something that we have to exercise the muscle on a daily basis. Mm. Um, it's something where you have to really put in the work and do the reps of um, just putting yourself out there and um, putting yourself out there and also basically um, finding the courage each day uh, to, to make that phone call or to submit that proposal or to, um, you know, make that presentation and then to work, you know, with, with the client and really get to know them and their organization and build those relationships. Okay. That's good. So I heard reps, I heard taking some first steps and putting yourself out there. Flesh that out for me a little bit more. You said putting in doing some reps. What are you what are you talking about? Help us understand what does those reps look like for you? And what do they look like and what do they still maybe look like for you now? Mm -hmm. So those 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 reps are just the the daily um, processes that I go through as part of developing and organizing um, my business. Um, for 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 the grant writing and for everything that I do, that's reaching out to people, um, that's um, practicing with the different um, writing styles of the of the grant of the grant proposal and things like that. Um, for example, going back to me doing the the training that I have coming up on uh, Thursday, right? So that that was an idea that I came up with three weeks ago. Okay. And, you know, part, part of me was like, no, you know, it's too soon for that, you know, doing, doing a training like that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of people, you're kind of, you know, you might be a little camera shy and, you know, all of, all of those like thoughts of like, oh, what if you, you know, mess up and, and things like that. Or, you know, you've only been doing this for, for two years and there's people out there with 20 years of experience. Who, who the heck are you to be teaching grant writing to anyone, you know? But then like kind of remembering that my two years of experience is more than someone that has zero experience. Yeah. So even though I don't, even though I don't have the 20 years of experience that, you know, some other grant writers might have, I still am a step ahead of someone else and something that I learned when it came to helping and sharing and training with others is that you really only need to be a few steps ahead in order to have an impact on, yeah. you know, people. That's so awesome. I, I love that you have taken what you have and not just simply sit on it, but you sat on it, but you're taking that information and you're making it practical and you're using it and you're putting yourself out there because I know mm -hmm. a lot of people like, hey, I'm afraid to put myself out there, but you put yourself out there. So, so bravo for doing that awesome job. Yeah, when thank you. When you do this event, what are you, what are you hoping for? What are you hoping for with this up and coming event that you're gonna be doing? And then you fast forward and look at your business. 
-hmm. that you created out of a thought, which I love. If you look at that, what are you hoping that your business will, will be about? And what kind of impact are you really hoping that it will, will have? Yeah, absolutely. So this upcoming um, you know, workshop that I'm having, I really want this to be an educational opportunity and also a networking opportunity for the people that attend. Right. I want I want the people that, that attend to get the information from me, but also see amongst themselves how their different organizations might be able to support and collaborate with the, with each other and you know see where there might be common ground. So I'm looking to educate and bring people together um, for this particular training. That's that's my number one goal. And then going forward with the business with Rick's Creative Agency, um, which specializes in three areas of consulting and writing, which are grant writing for nonprofits, um, copywriting, and then also sponsorship writing, joint ventures and partnerships. So it's all about helping organizations and nonprofits to um, magnetize their message in order to get grant funding, in order to connect with their ideal audience and then also to build relationships. That's so that is um, the, the goal. It's using the power of the written word, imagery, storytelling, communication to craft together um, these opportunities for organizations. That's really cool. That's really cool. So you're going to have, I can already tell right now, you're going to have some phenomenal success. And I'm looking forward to bringing you back later on and letting others get a chance to hear about your continued growth. And I know somebody is listening right now that's being encouraged by just your journey. Now, if you look back at your journey and see, hey, where you come from, from there to this point, take us back to the very beginning. You started back around April and being you go to the training and then how how far out after that time was it when you said hey i'm, I'm gonna do this as a business i am gonna do this as a business and you made that determination then take us to the part where you made the determination or, or actually when you actually got your very first client mm -hmm. so i actually had the idea of doing grant writing um, in addition with you know my other writing talents as a business, even prior to doing the um, official um, rising star training. Awesome. So the so the rising star training was sort of like in support of me having that as a long term vision and goal. Uh -huh. And I and I realized that it would be a valuable investment um, for me to to reach that goal and what it what it did for me is that it gave me the confidence to be able to communicate um, the value of grant writing to an organization and to show and deliver on my ability to serve them. Um, that's, what, that's what it really did for me. It helped me with that, that confidence boost of being able to ask the right questions, being able to really get to know them and get to know their organization on a deeper level that's going to bring out the best opportunity for them to get that grant funding. And so the journey over the past couple of months for me has really been um, about you know going through the training, having that experience. And what I, what I liked about um, the course that we did together compared with some other courses that I've taken is that I really like the hands-on approach where we're actually writing and developing an actual grant proposal. And, um, and something that I actually did when I did your training is that I actually took the project of a potential client that I hadn't actually um, booked yet at the time. Now, now they are a client, but I, I took their project and I used that as my sample project for the course. So then by the time I actually started working with them, I was already a step ahead. Wow. That is awesome. That's, that's really smart too. You know, there's so many ways of going about it. And I like that you were not afraid 
And, and that's a big thing that I see oftentimes that hinder a lot of people, but you've been methodically taking steps, investing into yourself, getting growth. And now mm -hmm. it's, it's easy now for others to look on this side and see, oh, wow, here she is doing it. But you yeah. took a number of calculated steps. So you got to be commended for that. And I'm sure that yeah. you're going to do some incredible things. And if yeah. somebody wants to get in touch with you to say, hey, Camille, now that you've gone through this journey, <laughs> I want you to write a grant. You, you, you told us about those three areas of specialization. Is there any location that you're mm -hmm. specific to or do you serve and work with people all throughout the, throughout the United States and even beyond that? Yeah, I work with organizations right right now, um, strictly um, you know throughout 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 the U.S. So, um, U.S. based five hundred one c threes or small to medium to large businesses, um, and you know the way that people can contact me is many different ways. I am on LinkedIn. My first name is Camille C A M I L L E, and my last name is Ricks R I C K S. And then you can also find my page, which is Rick's Creative Agency. And my website is www.rickscreativeagency.com. So that's my last name, R-I-C-K-S, creative, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E, agency, A-G-E-N-C-Y.com. Awesome. And I'll make sure that we have that information included, listed in the descriptions, just in case you'd like to reach out to it directly. Camille, it's been great getting a chance to hear your story. And I know that the future is really bright for you. I'm looking forward to, to seeing some great things and possibly having you back. And in, in, in addition to that, possibly doing some work together where we find out more about that sponsorship work that you've done and maybe even more about the scholarship because I know there are some people here that are mm -hmm. listening that are asking themselves, man, how can I get some of these grants for my, how can I get some of these grants for my son or my daughter or even themselves? So mm -hmm. we'll have to do some collaboration and talk about some things that we can bring out to those that are listening for that area as well. Okay. Absolutely. So with that being said, thank you. Any final words before we head out? No final words, but thank you so much. I feel so grateful and blessed to be here today. And I am excited for what the future holds. 2021 is going to be an amazing year. <laughs> Listen, I know that it is. And like I said, we're going to collaborate on some things and we're going to bring, there's some people out there right now that I know that need scholarship and we're going to bring some information to them to help them to do that. All the best. Thanks again. You guys out there, remember, be brave, be bold, be brilliant, and do like Camille did. She took charge. charge. Yes. yes. All the best. Take care. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.